Welcome to another Digital Anarchy tutorial. I'm Jim Tierney, president of Digital Anarchy. And in this tutorial, we're gonna go over how to speed up Flickr Free. Flickr Free is our plugin for removing Flickr. It deals with common problems like Flickr within time-lapse photography, Flickr from the camera being out of sync with the lights, which results in rolling bands. And of course, also in slow motion footage. And that's what I have in front of me right here. So let's dive into how to speed up Flickr Free. Now this is necessary because Flickr Free is a slightly slow plugin. What we're doing is we're analyzing multiple frames over time. So quite often we'll be trying to analyze 15 or 17 or even 21 frames all at the same time for a single frame. And so this results in it being a little bit slow, but there are some ways that you can speed it up and that's what we're gonna talk about. So what I have here is some slow motion footage shot with an iPhone 6. And so we can see what that looks like. You can see that we have quite a bit of flickering happening in the background. It's very rapid flicker that's happening on the background. And that's what we wanna get rid of. And so we're gonna apply flicker free. And you can see that we have a few settings here and we'll go over those in a moment. But the first thing to notice is that if we play this back, you'll see that the flicker is gone. And the only change I made from the default settings was to change the sensitivity down to 10. Usually with the type of flicker that you get from slow motion, having a sensitivity around 10 is very useful. Uh, really the only thing that takes a higher sensitivity is time-lapse. In that case, you would set sensitivity to 30, but that's the way it starts off with the time-lapse preset. But the really important parameter here is the time radius. That's telling Flickr Free how many frames it wants to analyze. So in this case, you're telling it to analyze eight frames before the current frame, eight frames after the current frame, and then the current frame itself for a total of 17 frames. So for every frame that Flickr Free processes, it's looking at 17 frames before and after well, eight frames before, eight frames after, and the current frame. So it's analyzing 17 frames for each frame of video. So that's a lot of processing. And so you wanna have time radius set as low as it possibly can be. You can set it really as low as three, uh, but more practically, what's gonna work is around five or six. That's probably the lowest you're gonna be able to go in most cases. And in some cases where it's difficult to remove the flicker, you'll have to have the time radius set to 10. But one way of speeding it up is to lower the time radius as much as possible. Also, sensitivity itself, you wanna have as high of a value as possible. What sensitivity is telling Flickr Free is how small of an area to analyze when it's looking at the images. And so the lower the value here, the smaller the area, thus the longer it's gonna to take to analyze each image. So as you can see with this, a sensitivity of 10 works very well. And that's usually the first place I would start if you have like rolling bands, or if you have the slow motion flicker or something like that. Again, with time-lapse, you can set it to 30 and it usually works great. And so processing time-lapse is a little bit faster than processing other types of flicker. So with most other types of flicker, you wanna start at 10, see if that works. If it doesn't, drop it down to five, drop it down to three. But just know the lower you set sensitivity, the longer it's gonna to take to render. So set time radius as low as it, you can and set sensitivity as high as you can. And in both cases, those will help your rendering speed. Now you will also notice that we are in After Effects and After Effects itself is the fastest host application for Flickr Free. And that just has to do with how After Effects handles processing all those frames. You're not gonna see a massive speed increase, but you will see it improve by a factor of two or three. So, you know, improve the render times by two or 300% over something like Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro. So if you have After Effects, it's recommended that you do the Flickr Free Pass in After Effects as it'll render out a little bit faster and sometimes a lot faster than some of the editing programs 
like Final Cut or Premiere. Now, the last thing to think about when dealing with Flickr Free is that, of course, it's used a lot for time lapse. And you can see that we have a time lapse sequence here, shot with a 5D Mark II, so it's 5,600 pixels by about 3,700 pixels. So, pretty huge. And you can see the time lapse of the San Francisco Bay Bridge. And this is at full resolution. Now, if you're doing an HD video and you're going to have your time lapse within the HD video, I would not recommend applying Flickr Free to the raw image sequence because it's 5,600 pixels by 3,700 pixels. It's huge. And that's just going to take forever for Flickr Free to analyze. And especially if you're going out to HD, there's really no point in, in having Flickr Free analyze the entire original image. So the better solution is to create an HD comp We'll name this bridge. And we will drop the image sequence into our HD comp. We will now scale it down to the size of the HD comp, or thereabouts. That looks good. And then we will take this HD comp and use it as a pre-comp and drop it into another HD comp. And so now what's happening here, instead of the 5600 by 3700 pixel original image sequence, I now have an HD comp that I'm going to apply Flickr Free to. And so Flickr Free is gonna apply a lot faster to a 1920 by 1080 pixel comp than it will to the original 5600 by 3700 pixel comp. And so that will speed everything up significantly. And you can do this in most of the editing packages as well. You just want to drop your original image sequence into an HD timeline. And then instead of applying Flickr Free to the original image sequence, which of course is huge, you then drop the HD timeline into a second master HD timeline and apply Flickr Free to just that HD comp that you made of your image sequence. A little bit confusing, but as you can see what's happening right here on the screen, I have an HD comp that I'm applying Flickr Free to, not the original image sequence. The original image sequence is within this composition. And of course, if you were rendering out to 4K, you'd create a 4K comp. Uh, that's still going to take probably almost as long as 5600 by 3700 pixel image sequence, but it'll take a little bit less time. So always apply Flickr Free to the resolution that you're going to deliver at, not at the original resolution of the footage, especially if it's 4K or an image sequence coming out of a high resolution still camera. So just to recap, use After Effects if you can as it's the fastest post app for Flickr Free. Make sure time radius is set as low as it can and still remove the Flickr. Set sensitivity as high as it can go and still remove the Flickr. And so the Flickr removal is a combination mostly of these two parameters, sensitivity and time radius. So you really want to play around with those to get the fastest processing and still remove the Flickr. And then, as noted, always apply Flickr Free to the resolution that you're going to be delivering at. And sometimes that means you're going to have to pre-comp the original footage. So that's it. And of course, we are always aware that uh, speed is a problem, and that is definitely what we're looking into for the next version. But in the meantime, if you have Flickr problems and you're going to use Flickr Free to take care of them, which of course it does an excellent job of, these are some tips to help you out until we figure out how to make it blazing fast. Uh, right now, Flickr Free does not use the GPU, so your graphics card won't make a difference. 
Obviously that's one of the things we're going to be looking at for the next version to see if that's a way we can speed it up. But right now it's just based on the raw horsepower of your computer. So hopefully you found this useful. Check out digitalanarchy.com for all of our products and a lot more tutorials and demo files and even free filters like our filter for adding Flickr to video, which is called Flickr Freak. So there's lots of free stuff, lots of tutorials, lots of good things over on digitalanarchy.com. So thanks for joining me and we'll see you in the next tutorial.